Ryan, what's going on? What you up to, Holmes? Brush was acting up. I was giving it a little haircut. I recently picked up a sweet 1972 Blazer. These are some of my favorite trucks to work on, so I'm going to get with my man Ryan, and we're going to let the good times roll. Come with me. I got something that I want you to lay your eyes on. Yeah. Yeah. Got a new toy? Uh, well, it's, 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 I'm going to sell it. OK. Man, check this out. Rolly, I see him every day. <laughs> Whoa, oh, that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. 1972. Two-wheel drive. It's a real two-wheel drive. It's a real, genuine two-wheel drive Blazer. These things are cool. They are way cool. The Blazer debuted in 1969, and it was Chevy's first full-size SUV. It was designed to compete with the International Scout and Ford Bronco, and compete it did. The Blazer doubled its sales total in each of its first three years of production. Chevy offered the Blazer with a ton of options. Four different engine choices, two and four wheel drive versions, air conditionings, etc. Heck, there was even an option for a removable roof so you could turn it into a convertible. It was the perfect marriage of off road capabilities and luxury, and people ate it up. It was a mainstay in the Chevy lineup until it was replaced by the Tahoe in 1995. It's already got 383 stroker motor in it, it's already got a 700 R4 Transit. It's already been upgraded on the brakes. The wheels are beautiful, really decent interior, all that kind of stuff. Oh, so, wow. you know, she's already got a lot of niceness to it. The problem is the fitment of every panel, be it the doors, the hood, the fenders, the <laughs> cowl. I mean, yeah, dude, it's, it's embarrassing. It's so huge. It's unbelievable. The gaps, are you kidding me? The gaps, nothing, nothing lines up. It's still a cool ass two wheel drive awesome. blazer. Summer comes along, you pop the top off of it, you got a convertible truck. Ryan, honestly, off the top of my head, here's what I'm thinking. Everything I talked about the outside, we gotta straighten all that out. I don't wanna change the color, but I do wanna get rid of the family truckster trim all the fake wood trim on the sides, around the tailgate in the back, all of that stuff, and really make it smooth and clean. And then it comes down to some cool guy graphics. I like the satin black on the top, so maybe you can tie in some of the satin black and graphics. I'm psyched to get going on this one. There's a certain market of buyers that go nuts for these blazers, and let me tell you, this one's gonna be so bad, they're gonna be drooling and be thrilled to open up their checkbook for this. But I'm a little bit intrigued and a little bit worried as to what Ryan's got going on. I mean, we're always on the same page, so I'm hoping that this time we still are, and this thing's going to be a huge flip. Let's get back to work, man. Let Bye. me know when it's coming my way, Danny. Soon. Rory! Bring out that beautiful blazer! <laughs> no way, man. Like that. Sounds good. Oh, it's healthy. Check this baby. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Retail red. Thank God it wasn't stay around brown. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, Davey? Hey, Rolly. How are you, brother? Good. good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah. When we got this Chevy Blazer, she was in good shape, and we brought her to her world-class glory. The body was in desperate need of straightening, and the guys did a fabulous job making all her parts fit and sit just as they should. After stripping some faux wood trim and replacing the grill, Ryan went nuts on this thing, hooking it up with a set of nasty tribal flames that give this truck a timeless look, just screaming to be taken to the beach. We took the existing satin black color on the roof and worked it into the flames so they complement each other perfectly. With its 383 stroker engine, custom interior, monster stereo system, you got a truck with a badass look that can also back it up with some real road power. Pop the hood. You're gonna like what's under the hood of this baby. I like it already. 411s in the rear. Yeah. 700 R4 overdrive trans. Bam. 383 stroker. Dude, you know you're pushing anywhere between 450 and 500 horse out of this thing. In a small block. Everything under here is new, tight, right, clean. It looks great. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Let's go for a ride, man. See you guys later. It's our Ooh. breasts. <laughs> I told you this thing would. I told you it would. I didn't even have to try. I know, I know. She rocks, man. I that was agree. brutal. So, uh, what do you think? No, I love it. Here's the deal, man. I bought the truck for 20. I put another 35 in it. I'm 55 right. just in it. 
but I gotta move it right now because I got a ton of bills to pay right now. All I need to cover my stuff right now is 50. I give you 50 GS. Yes. Yeah. It's mine. Right, exactly. What do you yeah. think? Square? Square. I'll take care of it. And the truck's 50. Easy all day long. And it's more than that. Oh, yeah. done deal. Oh, done deal. Thank you, got you it, brother. brother. I love you, brother. Yeah, I you love you right that. back. Thanks, man. Man, this worked out perfectly. Davey knows a good thing when he sees it, and I know he's going to move this blazer fast. He's probably going to make a little bit of dough for himself. And it's great that he gets it out of here today, because the more I'm riding around this baby, the more I'm digging it. But I got to sell it. I know I got to sell it. I think I got to sell it. I do, don't I? Davey better get it out of here. And now I can get my boys paid, get Breathe. my other projects done, yeah. and we're rolling.